that bass. Oh my god, can you guys see that? Holy crap. Oh my god. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, my name is Garrett. This is the Average Video Guy YouTube channel. Now today, we're gonna be doing something a little different. Uh, anyways, today we're gonna be doing a little review on this, this underwater cam. I got it sent to me a couple days ago and I'm gonna basically be doing a review on it. I'm gonna use it, it's, it's like $140 on Amazon, I believe. So I'm gonna use it as a tool that somebody that's kind of a budget fisherman can use. So this one's gonna be like, instead of using a, a sonar unit or something like that, I'm gonna solely be using this unit. So I haven't really got to look at it, so this is gonna be the first look. So it comes in a nice little carrying case. Um, I actually really like that, that's kind of nice. So we're gonna open this guy up and see what's inside. So immediately the uh, the instructions fall out, we're gonna throw those over there. A little uh, pad to keep everything in place. Um, this looks like the main camera, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that guy out. Kind of small, sleek, it's lightweight. It actually kind of feels pretty cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. So, first impressions are not bad at all. I, uh, I kind of like the size of it and how uh, versatile it looks already. But uh, what else is in here? Let's set that down for a second. Um, it looks like we've got a charging cable, I believe is what that is. And this looks like an Apple char... Oh my gosh. This is an Apple charger. It literally says designed by Apple in California. That's weird. Um, so yeah, that, that must be the charger. And then this here, oh, this, you know what this is? This is to, if you want the camera to be vertical, you put this inside of there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that actually, because that's what I want anyways, is to have the camera up and down. like that and then when it dangles in the water it looks like it's gonna be dangling at more of a 90 degree then it would be straight up and straight down like this because that that's really not gonna do much for you other than look straight to the ground so this way you can see the fish and whatnot I like that so so far on the unit I actually kind of like it let's turn it on and see what we can get no signal I don't know what this is let's just plug in right here oh okay or shoot sorry alrighty I don't know if you can see that already. Yeah, let me, let me turn the brightness. Oh. Okay. So brightness is all the way up. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we're looking around. There's me. Not the best quality of what I'm seeing. Um, I'm not super impressed with the quality of the camera, but I guess we'll see once it goes underwater. So enough messing around, let's take this thing into the water and see how it works in real life situations. Alrighty, so let's grab this guy. And let's see what we can do. I don't even know how deep it is here. I don't know any of that, so you and me alike, we are gonna find this all out on our own. Hopefully you guys can kinda see that. Alrighty, first drop. Okay, I'm low-key super excited to see how this turns out. Whoa, so far it's so cool.
I've never used a camera like this before, so honestly, we are learning together because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going until I guess it hits the bottom? I don't know. Also, this said that it had infrared um, as an option to use, so I don't know. Hopefully that works, I guess. I don't know if I'm supposed to turn that on or what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I think I hit the bottom. Can you guys see that? That's actually kind of cool as hell. Okay, so I need to pick it up even farther, I guess. What was that, a fish? Oh, oh my God, can you guys see that? Holy shit balls. Is that a giant bass? Holy crap. Oh my God, I wish I had my lure down. Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. Whoa. Holy shoot. Did you guys see that? Oh my god. He's right there. I hope you guys can see that. What the hell? That's a big. Look at that big. Can you guys see that? Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So, one thing I've figured out, I need two holes. You need to drill two holes because I'm way too close. Guys, that was incredible. Right when I dropped the camera down, the first time I dropped it down, there's a huge, I hope this is recording. Oh man, I hope you guys saw that. That was amazing. That was a big bass. Okay, let's see if I can find my lure right here. Maybe I drove the hole too far away. Maybe I drove the hole too far away. I don't really know. My hand is fing cold. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Try this again. This is this is a learning experience for both of us because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I I'm literally figuring this out as we speak right now with you guys. So okay, let me get the other camera. Maybe that'll help. Alrighty, well when I first went down there, you could see a bunch of fish, but now I'm not really seeing anything. I think I fiddled around in this hole too much trying to figure everything out, trying to set up the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move a little bit and see if I can't see something else and try to set up a little bit better. I can, it's kind of a game of trying to figure out what I need to do to get it to actually work. Okay, so yeah, my first impressions on this thing it was pretty cool to be able to see what's down there and like I saw a fish right away, that was really cool. But other than that, as actual practicality for using it as like a fish finder to like actually catch a fish with, it's, it's supposed to be really hard. Um, I don't have anywhere to set it, so that's one big thing. Um, being able to turn the cable to where my lure actually is is very hard to do. I know they make like an AquaView makes like an automatic one, which I'd probably need something like that if I was going to try to use this as like my my main unit for finding fish and to catching fish um yeah like i said it's kind of just posed a lot of hard things uh to try to get set up i know this is my first time so i guess i won't throw it away right away but i think i'm gonna actually just get my normal uh garmin unit out and use like their little sonar or the uh i think it's called sonar the sonar on that unit to actually uh try to find the fish and catch them because this is this is really cool. I like seeing the structure and like what they're hanging out in. But as far as actually catching them, I think I'm stirring more stuff up down there than I am like doing any good. So it's good to check out your perimeter, see if there's any fish around, pull it out, 
put your Vexlar, put your Garmin in, and uh, start to f actually fish. Uh, I know Aquaview and Markham makes a little bit better unit than this one, but uh, yeah, as far as as far as this right now, it's just a little too less of uh, what I need. It's really cool to be able to look down there and see what you're fishing over. That's for sure, but. Other than that, actually using it to fish is probably not as practical as I thought it was going to be. Oh, you guys didn't see that, but that was awesome. Look at that. Is that a little why? That was awesome. Wow. Heck yeah. You guys didn't get to see that because it's on this camera and I need to find out a better way, but he came in and just jolly wiped it as hard as he could too. Go back down. Well, that was pretty cool. That made it all worth it. That was awesome. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was pretty freaking cool. I was pretty pumped about that. Oh my gosh. Whew. That was cool. Ooh, that's a better fish. That's a better fish hooked up, hooked up. That's a little bit better. We like that. Fight him a little bit. Oh no. Oh, I thought he was gonna head shake it. A little bit better fish, come on. Come on now, oop, I'm in the, I'm in the camera. No. There we go. This is what I'm talking about, getting on a little walleye bite. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice little walleye there. I'd probably keep it if I was fishing for more of them, but we're gonna put him back. So all in all, before it gets dark and you can't see him anymore, we're gonna conclude the video by saying that I don't know if I'd recommend this unit to everybody. Um, I do like it, I'm glad I bought it, but I don't think that it's a tool that everybody can use and everybody would be very good at using. So basically, it helped me find kind of terrain areas, but there's other ways to do that as far as like, you know, on your map system, on some of your GPS units, you can kind of see stuff where I can't see all that because I don't have all that stuff. But it, it kind of just helped me learn more or less. If you already kind of know what you're fishing or you fish the same spot a lot, you already are gonna know what's down there. Uh, you're educated, but for me, starting out, um, this is something that I, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna be pretty excited about using it in more different areas. I'm gonna find some way to like prop it up for me a little bit better and to turn the uh, turn the cable because that was one of the things that was super hard for me to figure out is how to turn it and how to set it there and you could see something. So saw some fish on it, which was really cool. I caught a walleye just a second ago and it I saw it run all the way in and I caught, I, you know, you, I pulled it back. You guys couldn't see it, which I'm gonna work on getting away so that you guys can see the actual camera. But like I said before, I don't know if I'd recommend it to everybody. It's gonna be to those people that are more run and gun they're kind of new to most of the places that they're going to end up fishing um stuff like that so we're going to conclude this right there i'll link this down below if you do want to purchase it if you liked it um i'll be doing more videos on it as well this is kind of just a basic review unboxing and review of it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed the video uh we're gonna be coming out with more stuff all the time i have a great time uh as you guys know i love ice fishing so we're gonna just keep pounding out the videos and have a good one